What's going on, fam? We are back, back, back at Illinois Motors. And man, I'll see that guy behind me. That, that's pretty nice, but we're not getting into that one, man. Nah, nah, nah. We're getting to something else. I'm standing right in front of it. About to take it for a little ride. I think y'all gonna enjoy this one, man. Right, give me a second. Yeah. Y'all know where we at, man. We are out here at Illinois. Yeah, man. Back for another one. Hey, guys, if y'all miss the cars and coffee they had over here, y'all miss the banger. It's that first one, and it was huge. They expected a couple hundred cars. I mean, a hundred, maybe a hundred cars. Yeah, they had about 500 cars showed up, man. A big deal, big deal, man. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys... Go on and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Um, and hit that uh, post notification bell so you guys are made aware every time we drop a video, man. But today's video, man, we got a treat for you, man. We, we've been in these before. That's for the make. But this one, this is pretty dark and sinister. I've not. Okay, and I've driven like three here. So <laughs> this will be, you know what? Let's do something different for this video. There you go. You'll be the only one driving. That's because like I've driven plan. too many of these and I feel a little selfish for driving one. How should I feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm okay. <laughs> so, what do you think? This sucker like is so menacing, bro. Yeah. This I is, love uh, this. For the record, this is not a frozen paint, this is a wrap. So, okay. It, something that you know uh, bmw does sell a lot of matte paints nowadays so just to make that distinction you know it's it's it is a wrap okay so i think it's like a gloss black or a metallic black underneath so really that's nice about wrapping a car matte black that's already black it's you don't have to do door jams or anything yeah it keeps like it a whole that. lot easier that's yeah. exactly what we did to zeus exactly <laughs> so here we are 2019 not a performance uh i'm sorry a um Competition. Competition, Jesus. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking like Tesla. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so this is like a super duper loaded example for not a competition. This is a 129 window, which is pretty strong. It's got M carbon brakes, which I think are like $8,000. Really? Yeah, they're hugely expensive. And um, God, but, I but had the rotors no last idea forever, it was expensive. Though. The really? Rotors, last a long time good Lord, if you know what you're man. doing of course yeah. yeah they last a long time i think that's one of the benefits that i've learned about the carbon uh carbon uh ceramics is you you probably will buy them once and you're going to be good for a long yeah, time yeah so long as you're not a fool and beating on the car when it has like ice cold brakes the yeah. rotors will be fine mm. um but they do last a long time uh for street use for sure and carbon brakes in a car like this is kind of kind of amazing because the car is pretty big it's 4,000 if I had to guess this is probably 4,400 pounds okay. 4,500 pounds so we're talking like Hellcat weight here but yeah the no way these joke. hook up and go is definitely different oh my yeah, god so, yeah is this with extra yeah these are standard four-wheel drive got you got but you 
these have the hoon mode where you can swap back everything back to two wheel remember when we were individual drive mode on the m4 yes and someone had it set in two wheel yes and we didn't notice yes until well i noticed something that, like god <laughs> that was I'm, not, different. I'm not hooking man i'm like i'm actually spinning all the way here um yeah that's right one, i was wondering if there was a bias what was the bias ratio this one i don't know what the i'm pretty sure it's more biased to the rear drive but you can completely uh, shut off the front differential oh man that's pretty cool and uh basically go full rear oh and wow the thing is though is it's like 38 degrees yeah. right now yeah it's very cold this one is actually fitted with some winter tires so nice so this will be good hook. for driving today for sure oh my god and we're gonna keep it in four wheel so. oh my god let's let's do a quick walk around because uh you heard them 38 degrees it's actually pretty chilly out here guys yeah. actually pretty chilly how many we talked about the options briefly yeah what is the number on the options of this thing i think i had to do some quick math i'm pretty sure it's like 23 or 24 thousand in options nice. which is pretty strong because most m5s that we've seen come through with like 10 to 15. yeah this is over 20 grand in oh options, my which goodness. is really strong especially considering this is not a competition right which is impressive actually very impressive you ask me oh um, my goodness condition's pretty good too i mean I love the carbon fiber steering, uh, I'm sorry, uh, spoilers. Yep. On carbon these. fiber spoilers, they got the carbon fiber index on the front. Yes, and it would have a carbon fiber roof, but this one was option with a sunroof. Gotcha. So that does uh, unfortunately delete that. Uh, uh, I actually, and now I don't know if that's competition specific or not. I'm pretty sure the it's carbon not. roof? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm Maybe not I'm sure. wrong again, or just lying. <laughs> Well, I can honestly say I've never seen a competition with a roof. With a carbon roof? With a, a, or with a sunroof. Sun Maybe you can't order a sunroof in the competition. That's probably the case. Um, but this If y'all know, correct us down there. Yeah, I'm sure you will anyway. Will. So. It's the internet. Someone's always here to correct you. Always. <laughs> keep, us, keep, us, <laughs> keep us right here, man. Keep us right. Yeah. So, twin turbo V8, all-wheel drive. I, initially, it's like 617 horsepower. Um, I think roughly I th similar torques, like probably 600 pound feet around oh. there. But this one is not stock; it is downpiped and tuned, so it's spicy. Really, very, very spicy. You know what kind of numbers it's making around about? We don't know. Wow. But it's healthy. It's very, very healthy. Wow. All right, man. It's time to get out this weather. Yeah. Hey, Down man. If, huh? Test the heat. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> all the details and all additional specs that's on this vehicle will be down below. And uh, also, y'all see that little link right there? Not link, but the information. Make sure y'all go there and uh, check it out on uh, Illinois Motors website, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Let's get in. Let's get it. Hey. Grazie. Grazie. We got the key. Hey, this looks like my wife's key. Oh my God, it feels so good in here. I love base M seats because they're so comfy. I'm not ready for this cold I, I, weather. I guess I shouldn't say base <laughs> M seats, but because M is pretty far from base anything. So, so to your point, I agree with you because the competition or the carbon seats, they're comfy when you're in them, but getting in and out is like oh man, a man. total I'm going after your man champion. junks. Yep. Something about those cars and man parts that just don't lie, brother. It's very European. <laughs> Going after your man junks. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, it's a ZF8, um, just like the other cars that we drove. Gotcha. And uh, I believe it's just straight over for drive. Yep. And then um, you can see what M1 and M2 do, but yeah, it's virtually kind of similar setups here i mean all the all of the drive stuff is pretty similar to the things we've experienced already let me check it out and you'll see yes sir you feel what it feels like now and uh let's start adding some fun stuff oh she sounds good man it's got some uh it's got some noise for sure that's oh, nothing she sounds good. literally nothing and that speed was apparent. wow like nothing. I, we, we, <laughs> like you don't even notice how fast you're going. 
like when you get pulled over in this car when you buy it eventually you know because you absolutely would get pulled over do you know how fast you're going no, <laughs> no i literally I didn't no pay attention idea. i have no idea how fast <laughs> no. i'm going sir yeah i got that Ooh. carbon fiber dash i think that's part of the carbon fiber interior package also carbon fiber lots of cool stuff alcatara uh wrapped pillars yeah, pretty much the whole roof inside. Whole roof, yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Just rolling into it carefully and you're just like... Wow. And the party is spoiled by Kia Soul. Yeah, that guy. Okay. So if you're you new to the internet, check out the Kia Soul hate page on Instagram because <laughs> I think that is says everything. All right, so we're gonna drop into M1 to see see what this is all about. Did you click it twice to confirm? Oh, I guess in this car you don't have to. Oh, and it's got start stop. Oh, it's right there. Aha! Yes. Cannot stand that part. start stop. This thing sounds awesome. It's a very different sounding twin turbo V8. It's uh, kind of, dare I say, McLaren-esque. Like okay. it doesn't sound like a normal twin, like a you hear an Audi twin turbo V8 yeah. or a Mercedes-Benz twin turbo V8. Yeah. Very deep, muscly. Yeah. This car kind of has like some, oh, holy crap. <laughs> that was quite a bang just from, Sounds like we're running over we plywood. We are nowhere into this. <laughs> but this has actual like tones. Like yes. there's there's a lot more like it sings a little bit differently, you know. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it literally sounds like we're driving over like plywood. I know. <laughs> like you're driving through the city with like just construction going on and you just go dunk. You're right, you're right. It sounds like that. That's what it sounds like. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> getting off the gas, bro. Gee Trying to give us a little space so we get a quick little. Yeah. yeah. But the Kia Soul decided to ruin it for us. So. Completely. Absolutely. This is a pretty relaxing car, though. It it's is. like it's real comfortable. Yeah. It wants to go too. Oh yeah. Oh my God, this car wants to go. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Uh, I'm, I hope I'm, this guy turns right. You know, it's funny. There's like not much to like. There's a lot of things to talk about, but like this car's so relaxing and. It is really relaxing. These seats are absolutely <sighs> comfortable. These are very very comfortable seats the ride is actually it's, it's really nice it's hard to find that energy to discuss more because it's like i kind of want to relax right now <laughs> especially after your day yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. I don't blame it's you. not even over yeah so anyways right interior you like it interior is very nice it's very bmw mm -hmm. right so this is that same look that carry over for years with he's letting you go thanks bro thanks Ah, the mortal enemy Kia Soul still in front of us. <laughs> okay, so M2 puts it in manual. Oh, it's in full. That's because someone must have customized the settings to, because that's technically individual uh -huh. settings. So their M2, because remember the M2 mode in the m4 that we drove put it in two wheel in two and wheel. also turned the level one traction off yes so that's why i was spinning like crazy is yes. not only was it rear wheel it was partial traction off which is nuts because that was a stock power car and i was right. spinning right at like 60 right. <laughs> oh man this thing is sitting at almost 3,000 right now i don't sound like 3,000 rpm no nope. this car is something else yeah you know this was the first generation that really, really like, I would say for M5s, kind of 
takes some of my soul away from AMG. Really? I'm a Mercedes bias guy, like I love AMG products, but like, I don't know, seeing how quiet the cars have gotten and seeing the direction that a lot of Benzes have gone, yeah. it changes, you know, some of the perspective on, or it maybe just changes your taste a little bit because I feel like BMW has been doing more AMG things than AMG's been doing AMG things. You know, that's, that's a very good point uh, yeah. from a performance perspective. I and I think, think so just a, well. in a Hoonery, <laughs> perspective mm -hmm. because you know you can put all the m cars in full rear with the right. ridiculous horsepower yeah, and like right. amgs you can actually do that with the e63s as well mm -hmm. but that only it, i'll just say that the character of the cars got a lot they, they changed a lot these kind of took over for rowdy like german hot rods you know so whereas like you get into like a 6.2 liter amg like C63 or E63, that was a hot rod. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, uh, so. Five minutes later. This is uh, this is interesting. You're gonna have to cut a lot of this out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God. Uh, oh my God. I can't look at that. them set up. Let's see what they did with them too. So DSC's on, NG's, engine's efficient? Hell no, go to oh that. God, no. Go to Sport, Sport Plus. Plus. Yes. Chassis, Chassis comfort, comfort, probably for the best. Yeah. As far as traction's involved, yeah, yeah. probably better. Leave it there. Steering, uh, you I could definitely want that. Sport. Yeah, Sport. Sport, Sport Plus. Plus. Transmission, S3. I think that's the most there. aggressive mode. Yeah. Who, the, who programmed this? I have no idea. Here, go up to the... I don't even know what S3 even means. What yeah. does that mean? No idea. <laughs> oh, it's S3, uh, the driver selection. So this is the most aggressive manual oh, mode so that you can D be in. Is, okay, so D3 is like comfort. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> those pops and bangs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. That was awesome. Oh, oh. She, she's angry. <laughs> she, she's angry. Oh, man. It. Bruh. Oh, my God. If it wasn't freezing out here, the door windows have to be down. Wow. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> That's nuts, man. She wants to go, man. This is third gear and this torque is in mode. <laughs> oh my god. So what are you thinking? Jeez. <laughs> so I think we go back the way we came. That's that's what I genuinely believe. Here, stop. Uh, never mind. Just, just go straight. Cause Let's I could have went through there, huh? Yeah, yeah, but it's all right. Not a big deal. Okay. Rather, we not pick up any like nails or something like that. Yeah, cause. That's crazy. Ah. That is crazy. <laughs> this car is rowdy. Pops and bangs are obviously louder because of the tune and the downpipes. Yeah. Considerably louder. Um, A lot louder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. <laughs> Despite the, uh, the, the uh, drivers that we have before us. Yeah. Still pretty entertaining. Still very entertaining. You can you know find ways saying? to have fun when you're gridlocked. I know. Big noise. So, turn left here. I just had that like, as a passenger, you know when you get that like stomach drop feeling? That just happened. Wow, this thing absolutely moves. It does. Oh man, it does. I yeah. can tell you, I cannot stand these tires. They move around a lot. Yeah. They move around a lot. Well, they're moving around mainly because that surface was really uneven as well. Uh, This car is rowdy. This car is rowdy. It, it works with the look. So the look, the, the, mm -hmm. the way it sounds, the performance, it is an absolute package. I like how it's like just kind of a car and then you can just ruin everyone's evening in the like neighborhood with the like <laughs> with these. Like literally. And the way we started and right now still being in comfort mode, so we still feel really, really, from a suspension perspective, it still feels so nice, so refined, and right so there. just keep you in this real happy space. And then you can hear the tires. <laughs> but this thing is just. You can still get that sporty feel. Man, you can. This literally is simple. You can be so many different things in this car. Mm -hmm. 100%. This car can cruise and just be so docile and comfortable date night. Um, it could be something in the middle touring, still rowdy, soft suspension. Mm -hmm. Or you can tighten everything up and just have this thing loud and obnoxious and just, like you said, ruin dinner for everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, M5 has always been like the best package with very small, you know, with, with some compromise to get the performance that they had. I mean, like E60 M5s were just nuts, but very unreliable cars. Um, E39 M5 were only manual transmission, which a lot of enthusiasts really prefer that, but that limits your, you know, your audience and things like that. But those cars are pretty solid. You know, the about, F10s are kind of hit or miss. I personally don't really like the way the F10 M5 drives. What turned you away from that one? The, the F10? F10? Yeah. Genuinely, I did not like how it drove. Uh, I just, the thing was, is I felt like after driving the F10 after I actually drove an F90, mm -hmm. felt like the F90 was always what the F10 tried to be, but gotcha. couldn't be. Gotcha. And I think it's because of the limitation of power, full rear wheel drive, the F10 just seriously can't put it down, like, gotcha. at that all. Makes sense. And I never really liked the steering. This car is so much better, like, light years ahead. It really is. And, um... um my uncle is a huge BMW fan, mm -hmm. and the 5 M5 was always his favorite. Yeah. Um, I, I think the man literally had every BMW, um, in his favorite classes that, you know, he kept them he never got rid of a car he'd buy a new one and uh he just kept them um and i see why yeah their five series is great i mean you know it's always been like the most enthusiastic um what was originally mid-size it's more like full size yeah. these cars have kind of ballooned in their classes yeah. but like this car, you know, it's kind of wild. This car is as big as the E E65 7 Series. Really? So, like, the 7 Series from, like, 2003. Pretty sure it's, like, very similar in size and proportion. Oh, wow. So, that 5 Series is ballooned to the 7 Series size. And for 
perhaps more shocking than that is that the four M4 that we drove yeah. is the size, it's actually the same size as the old V10 M6. Really? So that is telling you something, how big these cars have gotten. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, they've gotten big, man. So anyways, by the way, I was going to mention, how are the brakes? The brakes are awesome. I mean, Carbons. Un unfortunately, I haven't really had a chance to, you know, Yeah. because of what we've been doing, it's been lightly touched, but it's like super light. Oh, yeah. It doesn't cool. take much, and these things feel like you're trying to rip the skin off your face. Yeah, so very good. These brakes are awesome. I had no complaints about the steels on the for the this car at all. I felt like they were good, but you know if you're going to be doing a lot of hard driving, those brakes are going to get hot. Again, that's and when you roll into that that world of either coarse type driving that you mm -hmm. can probably get away with a little bit on these mm -hmm. with the right tires, uh, and those brakes will give you what you need to approach those corners properly. Mm -hmm. This thing will definitely accelerate without a doubt. God, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, we're doing this right behind a Toyota Matrix with a Bernie sticker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy might turn around and have something to say. <laughs> I love the bass. Shifting, oh, yeah, the, so this, do I. Uh, kind of like the DSG almost kind of snaps in yep. the middle of the shifts, and oh my god! I literally was going to say that that bass in between those shifts, I love it. Yeah, it almost sounds like it could be something piped in. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. That's a good point. But actually, no, that's a that's actually a, a characteristic of all ZF8s, though. Okay. So I don't think so. For that part, I don't think that's piped in. Um. <laughs> it doesn't get old for me. No. Right? That's so crazy. That's Does a lot of fun. not get old. I think for value too, this is just <clears throat> ridiculous. And we'll talk the numbers when we're this, back at the studio, which is yeah. in just a moment. In just a moment. But uh, yeah. Any, any comments before we're back to the studio? Um, honestly, man, this is such a package. Again, I believe it fits <laughs> so many different, it will, it will satisfy so many different um, uh, drivers, experience, wants, needs, and desires in one car. It really is a lot in one package. Literally, a lot in one package. Especially this one spiced up a little bit um it's fun it's fast only thing we didn't do is jet rock out to the to the tunes and you didn't need that because you wanted to hear the exhaust yeah and also i try to keep the radio off because i know you you're gonna get copyright oh yeah well no that's that's out. i'm even, thinking about your monetization <laughs> yeah. so even outside of that just again when you think about what this car is as a full package it's like mm -hmm. I like it. I think that anyone that's looking for something that's going to give them the best of both worlds, you can move to kitty kiddos if you have kids, and then on the weekend you can go out and have some fun. Like for real, this car is. You can take it on a long trip, and then this this might be a good one. You can drive to the track and drive it on the track, and then drive back home. As long as you don't break it. And the best part is, someone else already suffered the, the depreciation on this. It's already done. It's already done. I don't see how much more room there is to fall when the world of F10s are in the 30 grand range, which is... What? Yeah, you can get F10. I mean, we sold our last F10. We listed it in the 30s. It was $34,000. Oh my God. So, and it's wild. Ones with over 100,000 miles, you can get F10s for like 27. It's nuts. Like, that is a crazy value proposition to where even I think about, like, hey, you know... Oh, there's Alan. So I guess he's pulling something in. Um, yeah, back, uh, back to the studio. And we are back at the studio, guys. And let me tell you, you want to talk about the, what I think is probably one of the, this, this is your daily, man. This is your ultimate daily. This is your fun daily. 
going to have a great time and manage the snow. And in the summers, you can get and drive and have a wonderful time in this thing outside of any other performance car that you may have. And this is going to give you the same amount of excitement, uh, but on a different platform. And the tuning capabilities of this are just nuts, as you've experienced. Exactly. So I don't know if this is going to probably be a problem. It's probably. It might. <laughs> but uh, we're not going to take chances on working through it, that's for sure. Let, let let them get through with that. All right, guys, so we had to pause real quickly because we had the truck coming in. And we didn't know if it was going to disturb the video. Better safe than sorry. But as we were saying. So, M5. M5, man. So in my opinion, again, I still believe this will be your probably ultimate daily. Um, if you have anything else that's fun to drive, I think this one is the one that you take when you got other things to do. Um, I am going through this now with the Jeep, right? With the reality that when there's snow or when uh, Zeus is down or I'm not driving Zeus, there's rain or whatever the case may be. The Jeep is, is utility, it's, it's a utility vehicle and it gives me what I need. However, it's not as fun as some other things. To have something like this on top of that will add that fun factor that I can drive summer, winter, whenever in the rain it doesn't matter and still feel like i'm gonna be safe and doing what i need to do so yeah and support the platform has gotten so much so much support there is so much upgrades and this engine is super related to the f10 engine it's the s63 tu but it's an updated version so it's better more reliable these engines have so much potential that they leave them you know they leave on the table yeah uh, 900 horsepower is extremely consistent and you can get that and i wouldn't be surprised if this is probably like conservative tuning would be like 750 to 800 with the downpipes so this thing is spicy and yeah. very torquey and and low gears or even higher gears at low low rpms it picked it moved this car with no problem yeah so i'm thinking it is it's got a lot of torque a lot of low-end torque that gets this thing it gets this thing moving even when you're not going that fast and it's not a light car no. so you know being able to achieve that means there's a lot more happening under the hood of this car than probably being led on this yeah. thing is nice yes it's very impressive i think it's fantastic and for the money you really can't compare it to anything this car with 27,000 miles clean title clean carfax 129,000 original i'm sorry 126 uh somewhere in between there because i can't remember the specific <laughs> um so twenty three thousand dollars in options and this car is 69.8 wow under 70 grand twenty seven thousand miles wow. excellent shape excellent options looks fantastic in matte black wow i mean this is ridiculous value like amazing like if i was honestly if i was g80 or g82 shopping and i wanted a four because if you if you're trying to get a g80 or g82 x drive yeah it's gonna be about 80 to 90 at a minimum right this is under 70. wow and it's four wheel drive and you get a v8 which in my opinion sounds better than the s58s that were in the other two and which weren't bad sounding engines and it's it and it's better and it's a little spicier yes this one's already upgraded like this one's ready so i think it makes more sense than pretty much almost any of the other M5s we had here. I can tell you, man, this this car kind of makes it hard with some of the decisions that I'm trying to make, especially <laughs> when it comes to what else do you add and you want to add and want to play with. Um, the plus is also, I mean, uh, the caveat or the extra added on an important factor, should I say, is play with also. Because I don't want to get a daily that I'm just going to, honestly, I'm probably going to touch and play with everything that I own. Um, I know that I'm taking my time around the garage, right? We want to make the garage priority before we start adding things that doesn't have a place to live. Um, this, this, this makes a considerable art, in my opinion. I mean, I enjoyed the M4. I, the M3 is really awesome car. There's something about this one just, it's different. You know, it, and it's all-wheel drive, and it has, I call it Sybil, man. It, it has several different personalities that pick one, and, 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 and it's going to be what you want it to be, right? Um, 
especially for a car that you could possibly drive every day. This is a nice, I really like this package. Um, but it's something to think about with some of the other cars that I'm looking at. So let's see. We will definitely see. AMG or M? Um, when it comes to this, yeah. this one makes me definitely say M. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this one actually drags me to say M without a doubt. Yeah. Like I would kind of be keen to agree with you. Like, I think it is... It's just so it's so impressive. Yeah. Like, I kind of bounce back and forth between the E sixty three and this. Like, yeah. I think just for the giggle factor, this one's this this <laughs> even the stock ones that I've driven, still a little bit more of a giggle factor than the E sixty three. This gives opinion, it. So. This gives it all day yeah. long. So, but the most important part is one twenty six MSRP. Yeah. Excellent condition. Yeah. Matte black. Yeah. Looks insane. This is not your average M five. Oh. Not by any means, guys. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's got tons of bells and whistles. And uh, you just got to get over to Illinois Motors, guys. All you got to do is got carbon ceramic brakes, man. Make sure you lock in for Illinois Motors, man. This, this is where it happens, man. This is not your average M5. Oh, no. Not by any means, man. Uh, this one here? They did it right, baby. They did it right. Jeez. Listen, guys. Y'all know how we do, man. Because you guys were designed for greatness. Because that guys, you have the right, the responsibility, and authority to never be average. So, guys, don't be average.